I'm using an acrylic canvas board and I'm using just an ordinary sponge that you get to clean the dishes with and I'm just applying some greens, yellows and pinks onto the canvas board just very loosely sort of leaves sort of colorful yellow leaves etc just to really loosen up but also to get rid of the white of this canvas you don't have any of that white canvas distracting you If you'd like to know how I set up my Stay Wet palette and the other equipment that I used, I'm going to put a link in the description below for a video I've created showing you my process. What I'm doing now is I'm just squeezing out a little bit of Prussian blue onto the damp surface of the painting and I'm using my palette knife now, plastic palette knife, just to put in some of the dark areas that you can see in the reference photograph. Just sort of put them in very expressively and creatively. Sometimes if you half close your eyes you can see those darks. In acrylics we work dark to light. You can see there I put the pinks and the greens in as well with my knife and now I'm scratching with the tip of the palette knife. You can be so creative, you can really loosen up and be so expressive painting in this style. I've swapped now to um, a large flat brush and I'm just putting in some pink and white and red and painting in these main central flowers. But if you're using your own photograph, you can do the same thing. Just put in the basic shapes, don't get fiddly, don't get sort of too detailed at this stage and I'm putting a little bit of white to show the center shapes of the flowers as well. I'm using just red on its own now just to kind of make up my own flowers and I've mixed up a little bit of the violet and white to create little violet flowers and now I'm putting in a little bit of the yellow and the blue to create some sort of mid-tone leaf colors and now I'm putting in a bit more yellow to create lighter leaf colors. You know you can just sort of make it up as you go along but try not to sort of overwork your acrylics. Always give it a little bit of a blow dry in between so you don't get too muddy or your paint doesn't get too sticky. I've just swapped to a half inch brush there and I'm just putting in sort of smaller marks being very creative and as you can see there my sort of wrist I'm turning my wrist creating these different directional marks. I'm trying to look at the photograph to see the darks and light greens and the mid-tone greens and the lighter greens. Remember to keep rinsing your brush, keep the brush clean so you don't get your paints muddy. so much fun using this just this little plastic 
palette knife just to put the marks in. You can be so expressive. Look at that. You can even sort of press down and stipple it to create texture. I literally put the paint straight on with the tube so you can keep it really fresh. And now I'm going in with my brush again, really trying to get lots of spontaneous kind of marks here and there. But you want to try and create sort of the lights and the darks and the mid-tones. You don't want to end up with one tonal value, i.e. dark or too light. I'm just putting a little bit more colour on these flowers now to bring them out a little bit more. With acrylics we build up these layers so sometimes you think well that's enough but sometimes when it dries off you can almost see the canvas coming through still so it's a good idea to put another layer on it really kind of brings those flowers to life. As you saw there I sort of blended with my fingers as well. I'm using everything here, the kitchen sink, just to really create those different sort of effects and you can really blend well with your fingers and as you can see in the background I use some lovely vibrant purple with white to really really create a lovely garden even though there's only a little bit of purple in the reference photograph I've, I've sort of creating my own sort of version of it. You can really sort of do your own thing be expressive no matter what sort of level you are whether you're a beginner an intermediate or advanced these are lots of these methods are, are things that you can do when you're painting in acrylics the most important thing is to let them dry out so you don't get too muddy and try to work dark to light as best you can and large marks to small marks so it's sort of large broad shapes and then the final sort of details and darks and highlights and if you can follow that process you should have that quite a nice give you a little bit of confidence when you're painting in acrylics. I'm using one of those little wooden pegs or keys that you get to stretch your box canvas paintings and just painting on the edge of it and then printing with it and you get some really nice textured marks. You can get some very thin lines as well. I think I'll leave my painting there for now. As you can see, I progressed on and used lots of smaller marks using a thin brush to create lots of stems, lots of leaves. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's inspired you to have a go at painting in acrylics and being expressive and creative. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, why not subscribe to my acrylic channel and you'll get updates of my latest videos. If you have any comments or questions about this video, why not put them in the comments section below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.